All right, what's going on YouTube? We're back with an FPS episode that was uploaded briefly, and if you caught it, you may have realized that it was extremely framey and the recording was not good. But as you can see, frames are back, we're looking good, and the best part is, is it's at a steady frame rate and a good quality still. So I've been working with OBS, not like with them personally, I've been working with the program and trying to figure out the best recording quality settings. It always changes from computer to computer and system to system it seems to be. And so I can never get a steady recording preset that seems to work for me. It's uh, a good system and I love the output file size and the quality and everything and its abilities, but sometimes it just gives me a little bit of trouble with initial setup. But anyways, let's get on with the episode. If you remember last episode, we covered how to cr get the crosshair to the center of the screen and get the crosshair there in the first place. But if you also remember, when we aimed down the sights, the crosshair was there. As you can see, it's not there anymore because I've removed it because I've already recorded this episode, uh, But as I mentioned earlier, but I'm going to walk you through how I did this episode and what to do to make yours function, make your uh, game function the way I designed uh, this new shooting system. So we're not going to redesign the gun, we're just going to kind of redesign how the gun shoots a little bit, but first thing I want you to do is I want you to right click and uh, in your player stuff and create a new widget and just call it crosshair. It'll open up your HUD and go and click on the image that is your crosshair that you have here. As you can see mine's invisible but all I've done is I've simply draw as none and that's all I've done and now it won't be visible anymore but you can keep it there in case you want it as a backup. So now we're done with our HUD. Uh, what we want to do is go to the crosshair and pretty much do the same thing that we have on the other HUD. So drag in an image, anchor it to the center, the position should be negative 100, negative 100, size should be 200 by 200 or something that you want. The crosshair seems to be a little big for me so uh, I'm gonna keep it uh, I'm gonna keep it at 200 but I would like to modify some settings later on in the series. Anyways, so now we're actually done with our crosshair. No blueprint and graphs to set up or anything. We're done with our crosshair. Um, and make sure, of course, that you're setting the brush as your crosshair picture. Anyways, let's uh, close the crosshair because we don't need that anymore. Let's go to uh, Bro Dude. And we're going to set up. Uh, we're going to set up multiple things. We're going to set up the crosshair. We're going to set up the aiming to the center of the screen, or at least to where our crosshair is, and perfect shooting while we're aiming, and perfect shooting while we're not aiming. So it will be to the center of the screen and positive there. So, anyways, let's continue. What I want you guys to do is let's head over to your viewport, and uh, I'm going to try to find my character here. So my character, for some reason, is really far away from me, so I'm just going to take my speed up to 8 and zoom over to him. So what I want you to do is I want you to add a scene component. So I want you to click on your mesh, or click on your camera, and add a scene component, and just keep it called scene. And then I want you to add a widget component and call it crosshair. Now, I want you to set the settings to screen, and crosshair. 1920 by 1080 should be the resolution and that's all. If it's not rendering uh, at the end of your tests make sure that uh, hidden in game is unchecked. So next thing we want to do is make sure that scene is zeroed out so zero all of this out and make sure the rotations are zero as well. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the red and just drag it as far as we can. So I'm just gonna maneuver my camera here a little bit. And I'm gonna just drag it really far out. So now it's got a really high value. If that's not, if you don't think that's enough, and you think your map is gonna be more than that, and you want it to be more true, uh, then set it higher or whatever. But that's pretty big size, and I think that should cover most map sizes. Anyways, make sure the crosshair is zeroed out in scale or in rotation and location. <clears throat> make it one on scale on all axes. 
But now what we want to do is we want to go to the ADS and do the same thing. Create a scene, zero it out, and then uh, zero out the rotation as well. And then take take its uh, oh I did that to the <laughs> I did that to the camera that that would have been terrible. Uh, you'll want to do that to the same thing just zero it out zero out the scale or the location and the rotation and then take the red and drag it out as far as you can. It doesn't matter if they're not the same, but if you want more accuracy, quote unquote, and it to be symmetrical, you might want to make the values the same, but I'm not too worried about it because it's not going to be that noticeable of a difference as far as I'm concerned. So let's hop over to our weapon base, and what we want to actually do is we're going to modify some things. So here we have we have our spawn and transform yours should look like this you should have your bullet spread connected to your spawn transform what I want you to do is I want you to right click and break link to actor spawn bullet spawn transform and then I want you to s select your butter spread or bullet spread whichever one you called it and copy it and head over to your bro dude go to your event graph and where we summon the bullet zoom in and paste it which I've already done but we'll get back to that in a second what I want you to now to do is I want you to drag off of this I want you to drag off of the spawn transform and type select and the index will be semi-auto false is semi-auto is false uh, drag it over here you won't have you won't have this but it'll say add pin to node so drag it over to full auto and true needs to be you need to add a pin to semi auto now con shift control s so we need to create a new variable called bullet aim rotation and if you guys remember in the last episode I had you create a sphere and I had you place it in front of your gun. If you don't have that uh, and you deleted that or whatever you did with it, just recreate it again and make it an invisible sphere. So I just made mine really tiny and make it, attach it to the muzzle and put it right in front of the muzzle so that way it looks like the bullets are spawning from there. Because this sphere is going to be where our bullets are spawning from from now, from now on out. So go back to your bro, dude. And you'll want to do a couple things. You'll want to do take your bullet spread, and you're going to want to open it. And what we're going to want to do is these two will give you errors. So you're going to want to delete the minimum spread and maximum spread and get your equipped weapon and reference them as I've done here and connect them uh, both to minimum and maximum accordingly. Then what you want to do is get sphere 1 and then get world, get world transform and then break that trans and then connect it to the break transform that's already here you'll want to delete the get socket transform of the muzzle that is that was there and so that way we can have room and a place to put the get world transform for our sphere then you'll want to get bullet aim rotation so disconnect the rotation and disconnect the scale and connect the bullet aim rotation to where the rotation was connected. And, disc and on the scale, just make all these values 1. Control shift s And now what we'll want to do is we are going to want to go to our event tick. And what we want is a couple different things. Uh... bullet aiming here so what I what I did is I just uh, dragged equip weapon and set bullet aim rotation and then I just right clicked on it and collapse nodes and that's what I did and it did this and it collapsed it into a node graph and I called it bullet aiming 
And so we've got a lot to do here, but it's not too much in all reality. So let's start with the set bullet aim rotation. You want to drag off this and make a rotator. Then you'll want to uh, then you'll want to drag off this and break a rotator. Break rotator. So X to X, Y to Y, and Z minus 90 to Z. Then what we'll want to do is we will want to get scene one, get world location of scene one, and get world location of crosshair. Then we will want to uh, get a select, and world location of crosshair should be false, world location of scene one should be true index should be zooming and uh, return value should go to find the target of find look at rotation the start from find look at rotation should be the sp target the world location of sphere one from our equipped weapon now let me explain what all of this does what we have here in our bullet is a sphere that is going to be the origin of where our bullets spawn from so what we do is we have a specific area that we want to aim to, in this case, the center of our screen because we've aimed them up accordingly to the center of our screens for scene one and for the crosshair. We've aimed up those to the center of their respective cameras. Then what we want is we want to rotate where our bullets spawn towards the center of that camera or the center of our screens depending on which way we're viewing it. So what this does is this checks which one we are using. If we are zooming then we're going to use scene one because that's here. If we're not zooming we're going to use the crosshair because that's under uh, the first person camera not the aim down sights camera. Then we're going to find look at rotation which is just an equation that uh, calculates the rotation that one object needs to have to get to another object's rotation or look at another object from its y-axis forward I believe its y-axis forward then we'll connect this and we the reason we do negative 90 is because it's at the z-axis is off by 90 degrees negative or positive so it needs to, we need to whip it back into shape by doing subtracting 90 degrees from the z-axis and then we set the bullet rotation and that's how we get the bullets to aim where our camera is looking one last thing you want to do is you'll want to make sure that this is all working uh, another thing that I believe we should have yes uh, I'm just making every, every I've checked everything and I've explained everything to you guys so this is about all there is to do so far so what we'll do is we'll just pick up a gun to demo it and I want to change my I want to change my bullet spread because it's a bit much for my taste but as you can see the bullets are shooting to the general location of the center of the screen I know they're not I know that they are not lined up with the crosshair and that's something I would like to fix severely um, but other than that um, it is aiming If I could get it to change here. Now it's broken. Let's fix this here real quick. So I think what's happening is Let me check all of these values. Yeah, they, these should. This all looks right. So maybe if I connect to this, I'll show you guys what was happening. If you have the negative ninety, if you have if you have this issue here, hold on. Let me pick up a gun and reload. If you have this issue here where it shoots off to the side, then you need to do that negative ninety thing. But other than that, uh, it should be working. The reason that it is not, though, 
I believe is because oh hold on crosshair scene zooming or are, are we setting zooming properly make sure that you're setting zooming properly which we are okay so everything should be fine let's just try it one more time maybe it broke oh sorry I gotta reload no it's still shooting towards the wrong area I will be right back with an edit to fix all of this. Okay, so this is everything that I figured to do. Um, multiple things. Uh, main one is we need to open our bullet blueprint, go to projectile movement, and go to velocity, and change the Y to 0 and the X to 1. If it's already like that, then you're good. But for me, it was not like that, and that's not what it should be. And then we need to go to our weapon or our bro dude and remove the negative 90. But if you're still having location issues, you can fix that on your own. But anyways, last thing is go to your weapon base, go to sphere one, then go to physics constraints and unlock your lo lo position constraints. And then if you play, we'll see now. I can do it. Uh, it is shooting straight and our recoil is taking us to the skies but uh, it is shooting straight so if I aim for this guy I'm gonna hit this guy um, which is obviously what we want so that is how to make your bullets more accurate and I'll just do an aim down sights uh, version of this I suppose I'll just go over here I guess and just aim for a headshot and there we go we got one so it's pretty on point to accurate the only difference is is that you're going to have issues with the bullet spread um, personally I'm going to n narrow down my bullet spread a lot more and um, probably point zero zero eight and uh, I'm probably gonna change the recoil but uh, let, let me check how that looks now looks a bit better still kinda all over the place and the recoil is a little gnarly uh, but anyways thank you <coughs> excuse me so much for watching this episode uh, if you enjoyed please hit the like button and maybe even subscribe because I post videos like this now multiple times a week it's not exactly scheduled, but it's definitely like at least twice a week. I have an RPG series. You can go check that out too. It's pretty cool. Like I said, it's an RPG series where we do sword and shield and knights and shining armor kind of stuff. And it's melee combat. So, you know, pretty cool. And we get to kill a zombie. And I've done some stuff like, and hey, inventory. So if you want to know how to make an inventory, that video, part one of the three-part inventory series, mini series within a series I guess part one uh, to the inventory is up on the uh, channel now so if you want to go check that out but anyways thank you so much for watching this uh, if you have any issues um, please send me screenshots or whatever you can or a video if you can because that's even more helpful uh, the highest quality screenshots and videos help um, so yeah thank you so much for watching this and I will see you in the next one